Hi everyone, it's Afraid Little Jules here, and today I have a charm update and an announcement that I will be leaving at the end of the video. I would like to show you a charm update, and some of these items I have made months before, but I haven't gotten to showing them yet. Uh, what I'll be showing to you guys first will be my first bottle of uh, polymer clay charms that I made, and I made them during my last school year. Uh, before summer started, so yeah, that was pretty long ago. So this is my first ever bottle charm, and it is Timo in a bottle. I don't know if you guys know who Timo is, but Timo is a yordle from a game called League of Legends, and Timo is one of my favorite characters. I'm about to ship this out, which is why I am recording this video right now. Uh, this. This bottle is really small, and the items inside are really small, if you guys can see from my fingernail. Comparing it to my fingernail, it is very tiny. And he is planting his little mushrooms. That's his, uh, that's his weapon, his little um, pea shooter kind of thing. Those are his scrolls. Uh, that's, his, that's his backpack. And this is the grass that he's in. You can see he has his little ears, his little paws, and you can see even the scarf around his neck neck is textured and his little feet too. Even that little uh, ball of fuzz at the top of his hat is textured as well. And instead of using uh, a cork, since it didn't come with a cork when I bought it on eBay, I made my own Palmer clay cork and wrote his name Timo on it. And I put in an eye, uh, eye pin screw on top. This is my second bottle charm I've ever made. And this is also made, uh, I made this after I made that bottle charm. This is a very tiny piece. Again, this is what it looks like. This is a lot smaller than the Timo that's inside this bottle. So you can see how much smaller this is. And this took me a lot of time to make, of course. And these are all those little sprites. And I made that little plant inside, inspired by the movie, uh, My Neighbor Totoro. And you can see that's the little, uh, that's a little acorn tree that they were planting at night. And this is what it looks like all around. I also painted uh, tiny sit sprites on the polymer clay uh, uh, cork I made. And I also wrote the name Totoro on top, and I put another eye pin screw. And you can see I also textured the grass and the dirt. And this is the final, um, this is my uh, more recent uh, polymer clay piece that I made. And this is a Baron Nasher. I don't know if you guys know that. Again, it's from League of Legends. And this is Baron in his little Baron pit. You can see that's his sign right there. And he's surrounded by uh, water, as it is in Sumner's Rift. And these are the rocks that are surrounding him. This is another item I made a long time ago. This is supposed to be for At Home with Cindy's uh, Palmer Clay Contest, but I didn't make it in time because school ended just when her uh, contest ended. So right when I was make, uh, right when I finished filming this, um, I saw that it had closed. So that was kind of disappointing for me, but I was really happy at this piece I made. This is the first time I ever made a piece like this. And this is a piece inspired by The Walking Dead. So that was like a flower of hope. And yes, he's smiling. Like he never smiles in the TV show, I know. But I thought it'd be a good idea to have him smiling because it just made him look so much more cuter. That's his crossbow that he uses. I didn't put any arrows on them though. That's a crossbow that he uses to kill the zombie. These two charms also made a while ago. These are um, whale cookie. And I made these because I got a, um, a cookie cutter from my bento set. And it made a whale shape. So I used the whale cookie cutter to cut out these shapes. And I filled them in with TLS mixed with um, acrylic paint. And this is a, a regular whale. And this is a whale with the uh, water coming out of his blowhole. And these are both textured and shaded with pastels. So this, this is the back. And this is a Gunter uh, Adventure Time. And I made him into a little cupcake. Um, because Gunter looks so much uh, more cute as like a little cupcake. I also have here these uh, Jake the Dog inspired um, cupcakes. And again, this is from Adventure Time. And this is what this looks like. And I thought it came out really well. I haven't seen him transform into a cupcake yet, but I have yet to see that. And uh, that kind of inspired me to make this cupcake, uh, the cupcake, Jake, because I really wanted to see him transform into a cupcake. But since he hasn't yet, I thought I would make my own dreams come true. Speaking of having my dreams come true, this is a BMO charm. 
And this is Bimo smiling. And this is Bimo uh, seeing the no face when he got his controller taken by the door lord. And he was like, no. And I thought that was like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So um, that's Bimo. And this is the back of Bimo. And this is the side. I decided not to make Bimo with um, the straight legs as I did before. Because I thought if it was dangly, um, it would last a lot longer. Like it wouldn't get caught or anything as as much as the straight-legged Bimo would be. He could sit around if he wants to or he could just dance. Dance party! This is a Hatsune Miku chibi. And this is uh, inspired by Vocaloid. And I've been making these chibis for a really long time. And this is what this looks like. And these, again, were inspired by uh, League of Legends. I don't know if you guys know, but um, this is Lee Sin's headpiece, the, the headpiece he has. Um, I was going to cosplay as Lee Sin, but um, I got really lazy and I ended up not doing it. So these are the headpieces that I made for him. Okay, so that was my charm update. And now for the announcement. As some of you may know, I'm going to a convention called Japan Expo, which is in Santa Clara, California. And just like I did for Sakura Festival, I'll have free items to those who can find my booth in the convention. Same rules apply as last time, which means you will have to say my username correctly, Sephira's Little Jewels, write down your username so I can give you a shout out for finding me, and you will receive one free item. I'll have specials going on during the convention, so the specials will be the giveaway items you guys will receive. And I can only give you those items if you follow all three rules correctly. So I hope you like this video, and I will do my best to make more in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!